Here's a quick look at how to create a comparative stock chart in Google Sheets using a function that Google provides. In this case, the chart shows us a comparison between Apple's stock performance and Salesforce.com stock performance over the course of 2016. I'm recording this on December 16th. And the way this chart was created was using the Google Finance function. And if we look at cell A1, we'll see the function, the ticker symbol for Apple, price, start date, end date, and then daily. And you'll see if I actually click into this that it gives you the help information right here. Now, once you enter that function here with the appropriate parameters, the dates will be autofilled. So for all the days the stock market was open, the dates will autofill for the entire year below this. The one change I made was I changed it from date time to just date, which makes it better for the chart. And then it gives you the close in column B. Now, since you can't change this from close, you'll, you'll have close appear on your legend unless you do this, which is to create another column where you put the ticker as the column header and then you just copy the contents of, in this case, column B across to column C. So I did the same thing over here for ticker CRM, which is Salesforce. And then if we go over to the chart, and we see here we have our labels. And if we go into advanced edit, and then chart types, and look at our data ranges, and we'll just overlay this on top of our data, you'll see what we've grabbed here is column A, which is common with column E, column C, and then finally column G. And just with those ranges and the right chart type, we end up with this.